Your Dallas Cowboys are swarming on Sertan. Mike Fisher reporting from the Fish Bowl in Frisco, where, as we speak here, uh, the gang has come back from Tuscaloosa, back at the Star, right up the street, having their visits with not one, not two, but three safeties. Um, by the way, uh, Jaron Curse, don't, don't put him in quite the same category as Malik Hooker uh, and as um, Demontre KZ. Those two guys have made real live NFL plays as real live NFL starters. Um, Curse has really not done that. Now, um, we will discuss, you know, especially if this thing happens. Um, uh, J. Ron has had some issues. He does not have pedigree as a seventh round pick. Um, before last year in Detroit, he'd never been a starter in his years in Minnesota. Uh, had a couple conflicts with the law, had a couple conflicts with the league, got released before the last game of the season by Detroit because he, uh, uh, of a team rules violation. But he's 6'4", 215. And he's been a safety. Can he be another hybrid who plays behind Keanu Neal? Yes, he could. Uh, can he be a core special teamer? Yes, he can. So we'll talk about that as that thing progresses. Um, back at the star to meet with those guys, of course, as you can imagine, is the head coach, Mike McCarthy. The personnel boss, Will McClay. And, and Dan Quinn, defensive coordinator. What do I mean by back? Well, they spent Tuesday in Tuscaloosa. And what a show Patrick Sertan put on. The cornerback who really has just one rap on him uh, because there's no, his measurables are outstanding except for one area and his work on the field is outstanding. If it was just about those two things, there'd be no question. He'd be the best cornerback in this draft. Um, the, the, uh, the pedigree uh, and the polish uh, that he has shown at Alabama as a cornerback it go, it speaks for itself. But he was not considered a speed guy until Tuesday when his 40 time was perfectly acceptable. Now, I think it was, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't the best, but it was perfectly acceptable as a, as a cornerback to, to not to no longer call him a not fast cornerback. I think that's where we're going with Patrick Sertan. There are other reasons why Dallas Cowboys send their staff to Tuscaloosa. Listen, you don't just send it there for one guy. You, you go there and you, everybody they've got, anybody that Alabama parades out there at Pro Day, you better go watch and you better go get notes on and you better go shake his hand Every single one of them, because I, I don't know. I don't know this for a fact. It just uh, I, I have looked it up. You can help me out in the comments. Help me out here. How many guys in the last ten years have been at the Alabama Pro Day who played for the Crimson Tide? How many did not end up getting a professional contract in the NFL? Zero. I mean, whether it's first-round draft pick, seventh-round draft pick, or undrafted free agent who signs on, if you played at Alabama and you and you stayed there for two years, three years, four years, you you are an NFL prospect at some level. I think that's a fact. So other guys to look at there, obviously, um, including you, know, you might as well look at the quarterback while you're there. Defensive line, uh, wide receiver, they're loaded. Um, could one of those wide receivers fall to Dallas at 10? Conceivably. Do you take another wide receiver? I don't know. I, I can't imagine it, but I, I didn't imagine it last year when they took CeeDee Lamb either because they didn't need one. But Sertan was the Cowboys' focus, obviously, um, in Tuscaloosa. And so Quinn is there, was there, McCarthy was there, and McClay was there. Now they come home to get back to some other business, but they have a briefcase full of notes on Patrick Sertan and their good notes. We have explained to you that the Caleb Farley thing is going to be problematic for, uh, in terms of being a candidate at the number 10 spot. There, there's an argument to be made for J.C. Horn there as well. We're going to have a premium video here. Thank you for uh, subscribing to what we do here. We are almost 23,000 strong. Um, 
what a great week we've had in inviting folks like you to be here and I do appreciate it. We're almost up to 100 people in the premium community um, where there's some, uh, some goodies to be had. We have to give away a book in that premium community. So uh, jump in there and be a part of that. Um, that's where we will debut my dream pick for the Dallas Cowboys. And as good as Patrick Sertan looked on Tuesday, he is not my dream pick at 10. We'll get into that as we go. If you want to know uh, everything there is to know about Alden Smith that we can say, uh, that video is now up here on the Fish Sports channel. It, it, is, it is not a happy story. Uh, and if you are a thoughts and prayers person, that, that's a good place to put them. Um, as Alden Smith works through what various sources now has, have told me, the, the, the first source told me issues and then told me a little bit more than that and we decided let's just leave it at issues. Now that the information is kind of piling up and, and, it, and the information doesn't make me any happier about, about the Alden Smith situation. So the Cowboys juggling a lot of balls here, uh, trying to do, figure out what to do with their own and they have figured out with Alden Smith. They, that's, that's not gonna work here. Uh, I, I just can't imagine that's gonna work. The signing of um, Basham is meant to not compete with Alden Smith. It wasn't a debate. Uh, they signed Basham to replace Alden Smith, and that's a fact. Uh, so they've got their own to deal with. Uh, they've got the outside safeties to deal with, and uh, they'll deal with them today at the star. And then they have the very distinct possibility of a cornerback at 10. And now they know Patrick Sertan. Strong enough? Yes. Polished enough? Yes. Tall enough? Yes. And on top of everything else? Oh, and pedigreed enough, because he went to Alabama. And on top of everything else, Patrick Tertan is fast enough to play cornerback for the Dallas Cowboys. Stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends. Hit those buttons. Let's get in here. Fish, out.